Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing okay. Um, got a new video for you and kind of a new format. Um, it's uh, going to be more of a, I'd say a hobby vlog. I don't know if I like that term, but it seems to be the, the proper terminology, I guess. Um, and less of a, uh, just showing you a, uh, a finished model. Um, so this will be more of like, uh, not a step-by-step -step painting guide, but more of what I've been doing and uh, just kind of breaking down the steps um, as I post new videos. So um, hopefully people will be interested and follow along. But uh, so my first project that I'm gonna share or start um, kind of comes by way of a recent success I had. I've been working on towards something for, I guess nearly a year at this point. Um, but I finally achieved a goal, so I kind of rewarded myself. <laughs> um, and uh, I got myself some uh, Victrix models. So I've got, I saw these come online um, via Instagram. And as soon as I saw them, I, I just knew I had to get them. Um, something about the proto night just uh kind of makes me pretty excited about things um and these guys from everything i'm not a historian but from everything i've read or watched online these these mounted warriors were terrifying um so they uh i just kind of kind of saw the models and i thought yeah um definitely want to try to paint these. So um, I'll just share the kit with you first. Um, see if we can get a good shot of things. I'm really impressed. Um, I've never had, I never bought any Victrix models before. Um, but I have to say that the detail on the sculpting is amazing. Um, that it's just that I know these are digital sculpts. I'm pretty sure um, from what I can tell from the photos they upload as uh, preliminary sculpts. So it explains a lot, um, but I don't want to detract from the fact that they are really nice looking models. Um, like lots of expressions. Um, some of them come with the uh, the faceplate. This this looks like the the faceplate here. So if you know anything about uh, cataphracts, they uh, pretty much entirely armored uh, mounted warriors, like heavy uh, cavalry. Um, and some of them even had uh, realistic faceplates that they'd have over their in front of their face attached to their helmets. And this looks like two options, which is just, I don't know, something really cool about that. And uh, this looks like the, uh, they also would have like a, a male uh, piece dangling down from some of their helmets, just really cool looking. And then of course the horses were completely uh, encased in metal pretty much too. And these, uh, these are just gorgeous looking, like all the different, Just the ornaments on the helmets. Very cool looking. Very excited about these. Um, slow painter, but being the fact that they're pretty much entirely encased in uh, in mail should speed me along. <laughs> Maybe. Um, so I think uh, this is going to be a fun project, and hopefully everybody will... Uh, follow along with me as I uh, assemble and uh, start to paint them. I even got some uh, large bases from uh, Warlord Games, another great company, like super fast shipping and uh, great, uh, great customer service from them. And they always throw like uh, a nice little uh, extra sprue in the, the boxes, just very kind of them. 
Um, John Stollard's a great guy. Um, I, uh, he's, he's just a nice guy. I uh, had reason to uh, uh, interact with him quite a few times in the past. So great guy, great company. And um, also in this vein, I saw these models here also from Vitrix, if I can get them to the camera. So as I said, this is a special little reward to myself. Um, the thing about historical models I've noticed is you get so many for not a lot of money, which is great. <laughs> um, I'm used to very expensive kits. Um, I'm sure we all are. So getting something that's so much detail and so many models in it, it's just a lot of fun. You can use these for historicals or fantasy models or what have you. So these are some late um, Roman armored infantry. I'm, I don't know why I'm getting jazzed on late Romans lately, but something really intriguing about them. Um, and another shout out to another company. I've also picked up along with these, uh, these kits uh, some little big men transfers, a type of transfer that I've never had opportunity to use before. They have a very different way of uh, adhering to the, uh, the surface of the model, something that should be interesting and fun to learn. But the detail on these, these are all printed. Um, I'll take it out of the pack so you can actually see without too much glare. There's going to be glare. It's just the way the decals are. But I'm pretty excited about these because of the level of detail. Um, and I went with uh, Romano British because of the the shield iconography. The uh, it's just it was more inspiring to me than just the run of the mill uh, late Romans. Um, this I, I, I like the uh, just just the inclusion of the very early Christian iconography along with uh, some of the Roman stuff. Um, very cool. So yeah, um, here's a sprue of these guys. Lots of different shield options, so many weapon options. You can give them uh, spears or swords. Um, the male is going to be a lot of fun to paint. Looks like they have uh, uh, sashes and stuff you can put over top of them. Um, I forget what these darts are called. There's a there's a name for them, but they come with those as well for range ranged weapons, um, which is just really cool. Also, I I think I learned online that the uh, the cataphracts also carried something like this. Um, at least they're believed to. So they would they they never charged full tilt. They were too heavily armored. Um, the horses would get too hot, um, from what I understand. So they just come in at a trot, but they would throw these darts, um, at the enemy to soften them up first, which is just really, uh, brutal, but very cool. It's just really cool imagery. And here's the, um, I got too much stuff going on here. I'm going to drop everything. Um, the command sprue for the, uh, the armored infantry. So again, lots of swords and scabbards, plumes to put on your, your uh, helms if you wanted to. Um, just so many different faces and more shields, um, different types of uh, uh, musicians. Just the poses are really cool too. And again, the super crisp detail is just, I, I didn't know this about Victrix. I, I've saw them for a while and I've always wondered about them, but man, are they cool looking. I'm just really excited about them. Two different types of standards. Um, yeah, I just, just wanted to share this with everybody. Um, so before I actually started to assemble things, which is going to be a slow process in itself, I'm probably going to start with the uh, the cataphracts first because um, there's less of them. There's 16 of them. Um, and uh, it's been a while since I've uh, painted any, any cavalry for anything. Um, so... Start with them first, um, show you them assembled in different stages. 
I might swap out spears and things for a brass rod because I'm terrified that I'm going to break them um, with just handling. But they, I don't know, they, they seem pretty rigid and bounce back. But um, I don't know, maybe the extra security of like uh, clipping here and here and uh, running a brass rod through might help things in my brain, at least the security of having something a little stronger. But I don't know, we'll figure that out as it comes. Um, but yeah, uh, very excited. Um, a little gift to myself because again, I, um, I achieved something that took forever and, I uh, I don't know, felt like I needed to celebrate and, uh, hopefully you'll want to, uh, watch this, me, uh, assembling things and, uh, and, uh, just sharing the hobby with you. So be prepared for some, uh, a different format of videos, not just sharing pain and stuff, but uh, watching the process. So hope everyone's good. Uh, take care.